get a career. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Start again, because I had my, my volume all the way down, you know. Yeah, I'd like to get a career in something and then go the capital from that career and then invest into something based on and, and getting the capital from my career. But, but, but what's your career, though? So, wait, first of all, how old are you? 25. 25, yeah. What qualifications have you got? Um, I've got, like, C in English, C in Maths. No, for, no, no, no. I didn't ask you about GCSEs. I'm talking about proper qualifications, big man. I'm talking about, like, did you go to college? Yeah, yeah, I went to college. So, so what have you got, then? I got a uh, professional okay yeah and then all right so would you work as like what do you do as a job i do like warehousing like i'm a supervisor at a warehouse oh okay what sort of pay do you get per, average per, average pay no no so the per, per hour sorry uh around 11. my friend you're gonna have to um get a job or a career well a career don't don't get a job you need to get a career that's paying a lot more money than 11 pound an hour man because think about it this way yeah? if you're working 11 pound an hour how many years do you need to work so that you can build up enough capital to retire a lot of years that's, that's what i'm saying like you, and the thing is, yeah, especially with like working a normal job and that yeah you're gonna have to do something very extraordinary you can't like even me, me working my job and that I need to invest my money so that I can make enough uh, money back from my investment to retire early. Okay. Yeah, you know, just being a warehouse worker and that you're not going to retire at the age of fifty. This is, this is that's impossible. You would have to you have to invest your money. The only way you can retire is when you you have passive income coming in. Someone saying allowed. Uh, someone saying allowed a guy. I I ain't getting on to no one. But if a man don't hear it, who, who's gonna tell him otherwise? Yeah, I mean, I, I appreciate the advice, but you know, I actually joined. I, I just um, I know that your channel is about helping people, mm -hmm. and but I wanted to ask you some advice on how did you. How did you be able to concentrate on working towards your career as an electrician with all the distractions out there? Because anyone can succeed at something if they put their 100% focus into it, but there is distractions. No. Do you mean distractions like, because there was a point here during my apprenticeship where I was like, you know, forget this, but that just happens in life where you have your ups and downs and you don't feel like doing something. So you have to just ask yourself okay if i quit this what's the alternative you're just going to get on to something else and they want to quit that and then the cycle continues so this is your best option well for me the electrical thing it was my best option you working at the warehouse my friend you are selling yourself short yeah being a warehouse supervisor you, you need to do something better than that so as painful as it might sound to hear and that this is the sort of this is a necessary evil or necessary truth that we need to hear in it okay? i remember watching a podcast and the guy's talking about he, he didn't get promoted after working at tgi fridays for six years and he thinks it's to do with his skin color because he's a black man i'm saying to myself blood you shouldn't even be working at P, um tgi fridays for six years what are you talking about you, you ain't been um promoted to manager why are you there for six six years so you, you need to find yourself some sort of career, man, because you're better than being a warehouse manager. I agree. Hey, j yeah. like, yeah. pick up yourself, man. I like this. This, this type of energy is good. Yeah, man, listen, I, I ain't here to take the piss out of no one or nothing like that. Like Some people are like, oh, allow him and that. I ain't trying to boy a man. I'm, trying to, I'm not trying to do, say or do nothing to a man. Yeah, or try and take the piss. Blood, this is what we all need to hear. Uh, the problem is we'll have parents around us and family and friends and that who will just be like, oh, yeah, man, it's cool, man, being a warehouse worker and that. No, it's not. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. Ask yourself this question, my brother. 
Would you want your son at 25 years old to be a warehouse supervisor? I'll answer the question for you. No. So why is it good enough for you? Yeah, it's entry level. And if something's entry level, that means everybody wants it. Whereas if you have a career, you're actually skilled. You can probably work for yourself. Yeah. You, know, you can monetize the skills that you've, you've had to build up. That's the thing with a career. You have to invest in yourself and it takes time. Whereas an entry level job, you can just walk straight into it. Yeah. But that means you are replaceable. Exactly. What you can just walk into easily, you can head out the door just as easy. You see my workplace? If they got rid of me, they will be in problems. Because it's not that I just provide value as an electrical tester. I'm a valuable employee. I don't take no days off work. Today is the 4th of uh, March. Yeah, it's Monday the 4th of March. If they said, ah, oh, we've got an important job to do in July, of the, July the 3rd this year. Who can we rely on that is going to be in work on July the 3rd, yeah? That's in what? Four months time. They'll say Jelani. They, they know. The other guys, they get me to cover for them. Oh, so-and-so's had to go and pick up his son or, or so-and-so's called in sick today. Can you take on these two jobs? Yeah, I'll do it. Wait, where are they? Send me an email. I'll go there now. Yeah? Just tell me the, the, the area. Oh, it's in King's Eve. All right, I'll drive there now. Send me the email. I'll get the email in five minutes whilst I'm on my way there, innit? I, I'm reliable. So I don't even just provide value just because I have skills and I provide value because I, I turn up to the job. Yeah, so they, they will have a tough time when it's get rid of me. When I first started this job that I'm on now, yeah, I quit the job after one day. And it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. They, the manager called me back like, yo, I think you should reconsider and that. I said, all right, then I'll give it a few weeks. A few, few years later, I'm still here. They had like, and this is what I'm saying. Yeah, all these people think, oh, if you're black, you have it harder, and that it's bullshit. Well, forget about your skin color, and that you provide value to the workplace. The managers then don't give a damn about your skin color, and that they want you because you are a valuable resource and valuable employee to the company. On my in my company, yeah, I am the only man of color for the most part that walks into the office. Everybody, everybody there is white. Every now and then, I'll see like some Indian guy or a black man there from some other. Uh, no branch of the company come in there but nobody nobody of color works in my workplace and that yeah. all the other electrician electrical testers and that they're all white man there was about six or seven of us on the team they got rid of everyone apart from me and one other guy and i'm the only black man so all this bullshit about ah oh, being black you have it harder and that it's just an excuse for failure i'm the living proof this is why i'm on tiktok and youtube but my advice to you is you need to find a better career. You are better than being just a warehouse operator, a uh, warehouse manager. Yeah, man. And sometimes, yeah, we have to hear truth that might be uncomfortable for us. But it's better to hear it than because your family and your friends don't care if you lose or succeed. They don't care. It doesn't mean they don't care about you. But as long as you're just doing all right and you're not sleeping under a bridge and you've got a roof over your head and food in the fridge, they don't care if you're successful. The only person that cares if you're successful is you. No one is going to knock on your door every day and say, yo, Josh, or, or Ashley, and it's Ashley. Yo, Ashley, come, man. Look, let's, let's make some money or whatever, innit, yo? Come, let's fix your life. A man might do that for you once or twice. And then afterwards, if he sees you're not making no improvement, he's just going to leave you to it and, 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 and keep it moving. No one cares if you succeed or fail. No one, no one is going to lose sleep if you succeed or fail in life. A man might feel sorry for you if you're sleeping under a bridge, but if you're just coasting along through life, being a, a casual anybody, nobody gives a damn. Nobody cares, fam. The only person that's going to care is you. Even your own parents ain't going to care if you don't become rich and successful. They don't want to see you sleeping under a bridge or starving, but other than that, as long as you're getting by, that's good enough. And that ain't good enough in my books, big man. So... You're laughing, but that's serious, though. No, I'm serious, it's serious, it's serious. Yeah, yeah, was you born in this country? Yeah, I was born in this country. Yeah, man, you see, so I'm saying, man, as a man that's born in this country, yeah, you got to utilise the opportunity to get educated, man. Think about how much people are coming over from Eastern Europe and Africa and Asia to study. I know, yeah, my grandparents, they came over from Jamaica. And oh, good. The, the house, what they built up, like, of what they was getting paid, they they literally did what they wanted they, they were supposed to do and we inherited that 